Design Nature is a first year hands-on engineering design course and the main goal of this course is for our students to get exposed to a design process. By focusing on the project process, students start to understand that not only are they trying to deliver a specific end result, but that they can learn a lot from the process of getting to that end result. We want our students to be able to get inspiration for their engineering work from lots of sources, and nature is absolutely one of the important sources that they can draw inspiration from. We think it's important that engineering be harmonious with nature, be sustainable, and, and one way to do that is to start looking to nature for models. Not only does it help us get to a viable solution faster, it's also an important thing that allows students to learn to be more inquisitive about the world around them and to look around and pull from nature ideas that might be starting points for solutions. There's two major components to the course, each is half of the course. The first project students do as individuals and the second project they do as a team. The first half of the class is called the Hopper Project in which each student has to design for themselves and build for themselves a hopper, something that replicates some sort of biologically inspired movement. And in order to do that, they learn a design process that involves first doing research, including things like going out onto the grounds of Olin College and finding insects and drawing them to learn from them, but also reading scientific papers and understanding how these insects work in nature and then using that as inspiration to build a little mechanical hopping device. On a hopper day, every student is given three minutes to showcase their hopper. The class measures it, photographs it, and celebrates it, regardless of how successful it was or not. The second half of the course is what we call the play experience. They go through a design process again, but this time they go through it as teams. The bio-inspired play experience they're creating is more complicated, an experience that's modeled after the behavior of a specific animal, but it's also being built for actual users. At the end of the class, about 80 fourth graders from a local school will come in, actually play the students' games, and grade the students on the quality of their games and the quality of the experience. Actually designing something for people rather than for myself as an engineer was like a skill that we had to learn and explore. And it's all about gaining feedback and just improving iterating on your previous design, and then eventually finishing with a product that you feel sort of fulfilled all your constraints. This is not a course that would be recognizable as like a hard engineering course at other schools. And in fact, it draws really heavily on things like industrial design. They all um, get exposed to the shop, to fabrication, because they end up making it themselves. We talk a lot about team health in Design Nature. It's one of the core elements of the class, and you really see that at the end of the class when students have to work together to finalize a product. It's amazing to see them navigate that together in a successful way. It's truly one of the most collaborative classes I feel like I've ever taken in my entire life. We really do learn by doing. I want them to be able to look at everything that's happened in the semester and realize how much they've accomplished and how far they've come, but also to realize that this is just the beginning of a lifelong practice in design. It takes students who feel very confident in their ability to do well in school, and it teaches them that they can do amazing things in new ways that they didn't know they could do. There's a saying here where like, it's the most amount of work you'll do and with the most amount of fun, and I didn't really believe that at first, but going through at least my first semester, I think that's absolutely true. 